In a time far, far away, before cities, language, and history, the Earth was inhabited only by nature and wild creatures. But one day, a being appeared unlike any other. He walked upright, thought, and asked questions. Who was he? Who was the first human on Earth? The answer depends on which perspective we look at, faith or science. In the holy books of the three major world religions, Islam, Christianity and Judaism, it is told about the first human, Adam. In Islamic belief, Adam was created directly by God from soil. He was given the spirit, consciousness and responsibility as caliph, leader on earth. His mate, Eve, was created from him. Together, they begin the story of humanity from heaven to earth. In the book of Genesis, Adam and Eve live in the Garden of Eden. However, their violation of God's commands resulted in their expulsion. That's where humanity is said to have started, not just biologically, but spiritually and morally. For religion, Adam is not just the first man. He is a symbol of origins, error, learning and civilization. But science has its own way of searching for human origins. Through fossil discoveries and genetic analysis, scientists have discovered that Homo sapiens, modern humans, first appeared in East Africa around 200,000 to 300,000 years ago. They weren't the first humans to ever live before them were Homo habilis. Homo erectus, and even Neanderthals, but Homo sapiens survived, spread throughout the world, and ultimately created civilization. Through mitochondrial DNA, scientists have discovered that all modern humans can be traced back to a single ancient female lineage. They call it mitochondrial Eve. Not a single person living alone but the genetic ancestor of all humans alive today. Science doesn't ask who, but how. Religion and science are often seen as opposites. But in fact, they answer different questions that religion answers, why we exist that science answers, how we exist. For those of faith, the story of Adam provides direction and meaning. For those who love science, Homo sapiens is evidence of the extraordinary evolution of life. And for many, the two can go hand in hand. Because humanity's greatest questions are not just about origins, but also about purpose. We all come from one origin, from the same land, from the same life. The first man is not just about who he was, but why we are here. Is it to dominate or to protect the earth which is our common home? This is the story of the beginning of humanity, a story that is unfinished and continues to be written day by day.